In this article, we present a balanced delta robot for precise aerial manipulation. Using a delta manipulator to perform precise spatial positioning is a current area of interest in aerial manipulation. One of the problems of this is the resulting forces and torques that are imposed onto the aerial vehicle, shown here. To solve this problem, we present the design of a statically balanced delta aerial manipulator. The manipulator has a three-limb delta-type architecture, where the end effector has three degrees of freedom, translation along the X, Y, and Z axes. The manipulator is designed to be statically balanced, such that no shaking forces are exerted onto the base for any motion of the end effector. This is achieved by employing a system of countermasses, such that the center of mass of the manipulator is constant, regardless of the joint velocities. Three countermasses are used to statically balance the mechanism, two of which are rigidly attached to their respective limbs and are used to balance their respective proximal link and part of their respective distal link. The other countermass is attached to the pantograph mechanism. This countermass is used to balance the motion of the platform in addition to the proximal and distal links of its respective limb. The four conditions for achieving a statically balanced manipulator are given here. The masses and positions for each of the countermasses are selected such that these conditions are all equal to zero, meaning that the total linear momentum of the system is zero regardless of the manipulator trajectory. We detail the design and construction of the balance manipulator, including an adjustable countermass positioning system. To evaluate the developed system, we perform both static tests and in-flight tests on an aerial vehicle for multiple trajectories at multiple speeds. Some examples of the static tests are shown here. and the results of the static tests are detailed here. Some examples of the in-flight tests are shown here. And the results of the in-flight tests are detailed here. Overall, static testing of the developed manipulator demonstrates a significant reduction of the imparted forces onto the robot mount. Dynamic testing, however, does not show a significant improvement, at least in terms of overall flight accuracy. The details behind this are discussed in depth in the article. Thank you.